So in this video, we're going to be spending a few minutes looking at this pen. It's called the Bolograph Executive. And this is kind of an old school pen. It's in the vein of the Parker Jotter, the uh, Fisher Space Pen, Capomatic, and of course the Schaefer Sentinel. And uh, basically what it is, it's an old school executive pen with a fully metal upper matched with a plastic lower. And it has a... Uh, the kind of classic jotter profile. And I, I hesitate to call it a jotter profile because like, you know, maybe you associate it more closely with a Schaefer or maybe one pen came before the other. So I don't want to call it all a jotter, but it is the kind of the most popular pen in that field. So we'll just go with that. And what I mean by that is uh, it is a retractable pen with a top button and it has a metal top with a clip and a sort of spiked shape or a tapered shape at the bottom. Uh, and again, that general profile, I would say people most closely associated with the Barker Jotter. Uh, there's other pens in that. Of course, like I said, the Schaefer Sentinel uh, would be a very close match. And this one you would usually see with a plastic lower. Uh, Papermate profile, again, very similar. And uh, again, the the uh, Fisher Space Pen, the Capomatic. Obviously, this one doesn't have a top button. The entire top part clicks, but uh, again, I would consider them in that same family of pens. So the Bolograph is less popular in the U.S. It's a Swedish pen, so you just don't see them that often. Uh, you know, you go to different parts of the world, like in Europe, they're more common. I wouldn't consider it to be a super common pen based on my experience. It's definitely not like a jotter. Uh, but pretty similar and quite nice. You can find them online now. Uh, prices will range between about $12 and $25, depending on where you find it for sale. Sometimes it's just more expensive. Other times it's cheaper. They can be a little bit hard to find. So from a detail standpoint, we see nice metal clip with uh, just some nice lines there. Yeah, there's no arrow shape that you, you would find on a jotter or a Parker pen in general, but Clearly, it's being stylized. The button itself is cupped, and that is slightly different than what a, a Parker would have done. Uh, usually, the Parkers are domed. Some are, have a ring around it. None of them are really uh, concave like this. If you look at the Schaefer, you can see it's slightly rounded, but then flat. And this one has a dimple. So everyone kind of dif differentiates himself a little bit there. Not too much else to see, just a stainless steel upper piece. It's on the lighter side, obviously, with a plastic lower that keeps it quite light. As far as markings go, you can see it says Sweden Ball O Graph. That's the name, and that's it. It's just a little dot between the two. And not really too much else to this. Very lightweight plastic lower. Kind of like, uh, yeah, it doesn't feel that high end. It kind of just feels very utilitarian. You can see the sort of like ejection marks here from when it was made. This is a tip protector. That is fairly common on these pens. As you can see, both of them have a tip protector. So it's quite nice. The original jotter didn't have it. They added it later. And there's really nothing else. Again, this piece is very lightweight. Of course, this pen being a Bolograph, it doesn't use a standard Parker style refill or a G2 refill. It uses a very similar one, but Bolograph uses a different cap piece here. So this bottom is the same as the G2 standard, but they use a proprietary cap piece here. If you were to pull this off and put on a Parker style top piece, the two would be interchangeable. This is uh, the standard Bolograph refill. It's a medium point in blue, and uh, it's like a 1.0 millimeter. It's a pretty nice writer. It's a little bit kind of like stodgy feeling and kind of that slow, old-school ballpoint feel, but it is uh, very reliable. These will last for a very long time, and I think it's rated for 5,000 meters or 6,000 meters. It's a, it's, <laughs> it's a very long-lasting refill. So, again, it's like a Parker style but you can't switch the two off. As far as the writing goes, 
we have a nice click. It's a really clean click, cleaner than a Parker Jotter. It's not quite as strong or distinctive, but has a nice clean feel to it. And again, sort of an old school feel, a slightly faded blue, the way you would see with an older ink. It's not an old pen, it's not an old refill. I just bought this one, but it has that old feel to it. And this is the Bolo Graph, and it's called the Executive. You think with an executive, you'd have a full pen like the uh, Parker Jotter, the Flighter model, a full metal pen, but uh, that they don't seem to sell at least anymore a full metal one that I've been able to find. With a retail price of $25, it's kind of a lot, but you're definitely buying a lot of history here with this pen. Again, it's not one I would really associate with having the same level of history as a jotter, but again, if you were from Sweden, it might be a very different story. So as far as the high points go, I would say I really like the click. Really nice, not too tough, good feel to it. Long-lasting, reliable refill. Uh, as far as the style goes, uh, you know, it's fine. It looks a whole lot like these other pens that are clearly competitors, right? I think if anything, Schaefer gets some points for having a little bit nicer clip and then being a slightly bit wider than the rest. Uh, but again, these pens are largely interchangeable. They were, they were originally sold and made at a time when no one was really standing out too much from the pack. And it seems like you just had to have a pen like this. And you could see from these, you know, if I were to switch it up a little bit and just ask any person off the street, they would probably have trouble telling them apart. The executive does come with this nice little case that makes it quite gifty. So if you did want to give this to someone, at least it does come with a uh, nice little case. It just says Bolograph made in Sweden. No instructions and nothing specific to the executive pen. This is just the case it comes with. So they just put all their, ken their pens in a, a case like this. I also bought a, a Rondo, which is one of their other pens, at the same time. And it came in the same case. So I think that pretty much covers it. Nice pen, not super distinctive. I don't really have any reason to recommend it over a Jotter or a Sentinel or a Capomatic. So I would just go ahead and find the pen you like best. Uh, for me, obviously, the stainless steel Jotter is quite nice. And then uh, I like the Capomatic in brass. Those are pens that really stand out. The Executive doesn't really stand out for me. And given that, it can be hard to find in the U.S. And you might see prices over $20. I can't really recommend tracking down, but it's definitely interesting and I'm glad to have tested it out. Thanks for watching.